Uh, all right, two song mix. Um, what genre? Reggaeton. Reggaeton. Huh? I'll pick my tempo just because I already have the Pro EQ and stuff in there. Uh, we'll do it at 990. Let's go in here. Let's go to my reggaeton go in folder. I'm going to use the J Balvin record. Um, is that 88? And I'll use uh, my remix to Farruko, which is at 95. So I'm going to go in here, right click 88, right click 95. Uh, we're going to bring this up to 92, so it's not that slow. And we'll do one more. Evie Queen? You guys are making it easy, man. All right, so I go in. Now the first thing I do, let's say that I'm going to use the whole edit. I'm not going to edit, make it, make it shorter. Let me just change this to seconds. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a short edit anyways. The first thing I do is I line up the outro. I don't care about the intro. I line up the outro to the, to the numbers so I can start working on the grid. <laughs> See, so there it looks like it's on, but it really isn't. It's off. So the more you zoom in, that first beat right there has to be right here. That's the most important thing when you start working with music production, is especially doing mixes in Studio One, is because you work off the grid, then when you copy and paste and you duplicate, things are not going to fall on beat. So now that I know that bar 42 is my mixing point, I can bring in the other one. And again, see there's a little space there. So this is the part that you have to do. So now they're on beat. Now it sounds different because this is not really a re uh, reggaeton, this is it's played like a reggae. So how do I make it better? I opened up a template so I already have a Pro EQ in this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I want to do is tell the software why I want to turn it on and off. This is the, the bypass button. So I turn it off and then I right click and I do the automation. So right now it's off. The line is up. That means it's off. So I turn it on right there. Now I go over here and I turn on my low cut and same thing. Right click. So it gives me a line for the filter. I can just go here. So there, it really cut it. You get creative, like, 
si acaso, baby, no te vuelvo a ver. So I cut that piece out and I'm just gonna drag that to a new track and duplicate it over. So I added that telephone effect, that segment I cut out. That was okay. Um, I can add a filter, I can add a delay, like. So I'm gonna add a delay, but just to this clip right here. That's gonna sound like this. song <laughs> so let's say I want to go back to since this has I'm lining up the beat this has the reggaeton feel uh, the reggae feel. Let's say I want to go back to the reggaeton style. That's the snare. So we're going to cut the snare and holding uh, Alt, I can drag it and copy it at the same time. I'm just going to create a little build up here. I'm just duplicating and moving over and now on the Pro EQ, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn it on at that point. And I know this might look crazy right now, but when we go through this in a slower motion, I explain step by step and why we do it in the course, it's really easy to do. So what I did was I automated this so that at that point, when the beat drops, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kick in, which is right here. Bypass. Right there. So we're going to go ahead and move this. We're going to start it there. So we're not going to start it. Vamos a empezar un poquito más arriba. So this is what's happening. When it gets there, it's going to cut the bass. It's gonna stay with no bass and then I'm gonna draw it in with this here so that the filter goes up. Hey. 